We're going to find a side first and then an angle. Side first and then an angle. So let's kick this guy off. Good morning. It's all right. We're going to kick off just by writing out the formula. I always begin by doing that, not because, as we said before, not because it deserves some marks just by saying that, but because it helps me get my next steps right. Okay. Good morning. So I'm finding a side, so I'm going to write my sine rule in this form. I put the side on the top because then I just have less rearranging to do on my subsequent lines, okay? Once I've got my formula down, I'm fitting things into the right spots, right? So I've got this x is what I want, and its opposite angle is 31 degrees. And I put that into my diagram, right? x on side 31. I match that up. Then I say I've got my other pair of pieces of information, which is 4 matching with its opposite angle, 73. Okay, so that's giving me this. And from here, like it's pretty straightforward, really, you're going to rearrange, put that sine 31 on the right hand side, then you're going to go to your calculator. Okay, so what are we getting for our actual, can someone give me to one decimal place? No, yeah. Two, two, sorry, 2.2. Two point two. Two point two. And that's approximately <laughs> equals. Um, you do a sense check. Does it look like it's a reasonable number based on the diagram that we've got? Yeah, it does, right? Bigger angle, bigger side, smaller angle, smaller side. Checks out. Okay, great. We'll move on to number two. And because I'm trying to find an angle this time, I'll put the angle up the top. Again, solely to minimize the amount of rearrangement that I have to do. Okay, so I'm starting like this. Same rule, different clothes. Um, I can see here I've got the same kind of setup, right? So I'm going to go straight to say theta is the angle I'm after. I'm doing the matching side, which is 21. Then I've got sine 78 over here, and 36 is what it has. Good morning. Okay, so we're getting here, and this time I will ask for that intermediate line. Can someone give me the calculator readout on 21 sine 78 degrees divided by 36? Yeah, but. Five zero, uh, sorry, five seven zero five eight six one zero zero four. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so you get the idea. Good. Um, it is it is valuable to put at least a handful of decimal. You don't have to put down every single one, but enough to show without a shadow of a doubt that you've done this correctly. You understand where this comes from and what number pops out. So now we can reach for theta. Okay. Now we'll do the approximation. Like we can do it fairly quickly. We want it to the nearest. Minutes, right? So when you do sine inverse, let's have a go. Uh, if your calculator is like mine, it's going to first head you a decimal, right? It's going to head you a decimal. We want it to the nearest minute, so you want to reach for that button. It's <laughs> at the bottom left of the gray ones, the one that looks like this. And what does that do? What does it do? It converts to degrees and then minutes and then seconds. In fact, some calculators even have a slightly different button. Degrees, minutes, seconds. Um, and you guys know, how many minutes are there in a degree? 60, right? Uh, and how many seconds are there in a minute? 60. So this button doesn't just do angle conversions, it also does time conversions because the conversions we use are completely identical, right? So keep that in mind for the future because whenever you have a time question and you get some decimals out, you don't have to fuss around with it. You just hit the button and it'll tell you the number of minutes and seconds. Yeah. So is it necessary to write the zero point? Okay. Uh, is this line necessary? I don't think it's necessary. It's no more necessary than, um, than this line. Right? So, so I would put these two lines in the same category of, no, not required. However, I think it's enormously helpful. Right? And the more steps you have there, the less likelihood that if you make an error, you'll not be able to work out, you know, like, oh, how, how come it's wrong? Where did I go wrong? Right? If I have this line down, okay, and then something goes wrong after, at least I can say, I got this far and I was accurate, and then something else happened later. Okay. So we're getting 34.79. Yeah, that checks out. Okay, so you hit your degrees, minutes, seconds button, and it gives you this. 34 degrees and how many minutes? 47. 47. 
Um, do be careful. Uh, after that, you've got 26.45 seconds. You see that? Okay. Now, because there are 60 seconds in a minute, if that number was, say, 31 minutes, 31, that's going to round up, isn't it? Because it's more than halfway. Okay. Thankfully, we round down. So I've got this, right? But this is only one of the solutions, right? This is the ambiguous case. So what's the other answer that I might get? I'm going to, um, I'm going to take the supplement. Right? I'm going to take the supplement. So with that number still in my calculator, I'm going to go 180, take away, and then our answer is... Actually, let's get someone else. Someone who's, yeah, 145, 13 minutes. 145, 13 minutes. Okay, now, we pop this down. Does it make sense? You have a look. Okay. Now, we've already been provided this 78 degrees. And then when you look at this, you would think, hold on a second, this angle here, this angle here isn't going to work, is it? Right? Why is it going to work again? Angle sum of triangle. Angle sum of triangle. If I pop this in here, right, it's going to be, well, what is that? Like 200 and 220 degrees, 223, something like that. So we've gone over. Okay? So I would say, but um, the angles I've already got, 78 degrees plus 145 degrees and 13 minutes. What is it actually equal to? Is it 223? Can someone verify it for me? I'm still in my head. Someone get their calculator. I know it's 200 and something. So it is 23 and 13 minutes, right? And that's greater than 180 degrees, right? Um, therefore, I can only get one solution. It's only going to be this one. Right? Theta is approximately equal to 34 and 47. Okay, are you happy with that? There's one more way, by the way. Um, I appealed. I appealed to the angle sum of a triangle, but there's something else I could have noticed. Okay, do you remember the whole point of the sine rule is big sides, big angles; little sides, little angles. Do you notice there's something else wrong with this? Have you Have you noticed that? Look at this angle. You see, it's a huge angle, right? And I'm saying it should be here, but look, it's matching with a smaller side. Do Do you see that? Right. This side is smaller than this side, so this angle ought to be smaller than this angle. Right? So alternatively, in here, you could have said, but you know, this 21 is less than 36. So theta has to be less than 78. Okay? So you've got two ways to go about it. 